Hey guys, this is Dinosaur Drawer, and I'm gonna show you how to draw Rexy's eye. And um, this video was not requested by anyone. I just really wanted to do this one myself because I really, uh, I really loved to draw this one. And so I thought um, it's not very hard to draw this. Uh, so I should make a tutorial about it. So yeah, that's why. Alright, so let's get started. So what you want to start with doing is drawing um, the eye itself. Just making the point a little bit larger. So it starts something with something like this. And it goes like this. goes like this and this is just roughly drawing it in this part goes like this And this part goes something like this. Alright, so now we've got the basic shape. It actually should have been angled down a little bit more, even. It should be something like this. This should be alright. So let's erase that. Alright. So that's gonna be our start. And now we want to draw in um, his eyelid goes something like this and then it just stays for like at the same distance of the eye for a very long time until you are at about this section and then it goes something like this I guess The bottom one is a little bit, uh, there's a little bit of uh, space between the eye and the eyelid, but it will be alright. So I'm just doing this really quickly because I might be able to put this just in one part. So alright, now let's go over everything, make it a little bit darker. Make the lines a little cleaner. So now what we need to do is draw on the highlights. Well first let's figure out where the iris is going to be. And this will, uh, you will have to make the iris very, very dark. Except for uh, two spots, I believe. Alright, so now let's figure out where we want to put the iris. Um... Not exactly in the middle, but a little bit more to the right. And 
This one will be exactly in the middle, I believe. And he has just one very big round pupil. Just try to draw a perfect circle, circle, but it's okay if it's not a perfect circle. As long as it looks like a perfect circle, it's alright. Alright, this looks alright. So now, uh, we want to draw in the highlights. First erase those lines in the middle, so we can focus a little bit more on the highlights. So we want to draw in the highlights, there's one over here and don't press it down too hard yet. This is a highlight and then there's a highlight right next to it right over here and that's a highlight. Alright and now just make the pupil as dark as you can. Just push down as dark on your pencil as you can and make it as dark as you can. But first do it in layers. First you have to uh, make it a little bit darker, just uh, very dark like what I'm doing right now and then you go over it by pressing very hard on your pencil. So I'll be back when I drew this in because this takes <laughs> takes a bit of time and you know the concept about it. Okay, that's done. So now we need to figure out where the highlights are. And don't press down hard on your pencil at all right now because I know you are probably used to pressing down for a while uh, for dar to darken in this iris, but uh, you need to be very gentle right here. What, you, what you're gonna do is draw something like a line going up like this and then it goes something like this goes something like this and then it goes something like this again maybe it could be a little bit longer something like that and erase uh, if you accidentally did it wrong alright then there's one highlight over here and also this highlight over here on the left, you can go over it slightly because it doesn't really have to be that uh, that light. But the one in the middle stays stays like how it is right now. Okay, so now we want to get the highlight over here, something like this. Get a highlight over here, um, somewhere over here, yeah. something like that and get a highlight over here and this is going to be the biggest one I believe alright now you want to draw a line over here very very light and do the same thing over here also very light and you want to start drawing uh, some lines around the iris and try to keep the same distance try to stay at the same distance I already screwed up a little but that's fine you've done that darkened it in a little and if it helps you could put your paper in a 
kind of an angle. And don't go over your highlights at all. You can't go over those highlights. So, alright, now you can try to make this a little darker as well. Don't go past these lines yet. These lines are for later. Just go over your uh, kind of lines again and again. And you need to go over uh, everything until this, these lines aren't visible anymore, by far. So that's actually the reason why I'm, I keep uh, doing these lines. Over here it gets really dark. Oh, I accidentally went over the highlight a little. So I'm going to erase that later on. Alright, I believe it's almost dark enough. Now we want to do the same thing but uh, on the inside. And this has to be a little bit lighter. Right, it shouldn't go darker than what it is right now. Keep it about this dark. Oh, I, I couldn't find the highlight. I missed it. So that's the highlight. I keep accidentally going over these highlights, which isn't a good thing. Alright, now we're going to make these, this outer ring a little darker. Don't go over your highlights like I just did. A few times, I forgot it. And I am lucky out here because I've got a great eraser. But it might be that you aren't so lucky. And you don't really have a great eraser and then you have to start over. Or maybe your paper isn't the right kind of paper. So you should really make this line very dark. And then <clears throat> let a couple of lines get through, kind of like through the outer ring. Alright, it's really starting to look great already. And I see that I uh, smeared a little. Sorry. 
Okay. <clears throat> so now you want to do the same thing as what you did over here, but erase these lines first. So you don't really have the separation line. And then just do the same thing. Very light. And sometimes let a very dark line kind of go through. Okay. And the same thing over here, but over here it's going to be very, very light. So pay attention to the amount of shadow or tone you put into this part. It's really light over here. Alright, the only thing that's still missing are these really dark kind of lines. So you can put them in. But try not to go over your highlights because you're pushing down very hard on your pencil right now. And if you do go over your highlights right now, then it's a shame because you can't erase it anymore. And these are just actually veins. And you can put a few dark ones in. And even a few in between and stuff. Make it look natural. Maybe one going from behind this highlight to over there. One more over here. A few coming from underneath. Going into the eye. One over here as well. And a couple them coming from over here and these are a little lighter all right that should be good and I'm not really happy with how this kind of highlight turned out so I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller something a little like this and now I'm gonna erase this part of the highlight so it, they don't have that artificial lines alright and now <coughs> get the edges very dark a lot of shadow in this bottom section over here really much uh, really lots of shadow and you need to get this as dark as you can immediately, immediately. so press down very hard while doing this part Now press down a little bit less hard. Oh, 
alright. I really want this highlight to be clearly visible, but I placed it a little bit wrong, but that's okay. Now make this very dark as well. Like this, and then darken in this bit. This part needs to be very dark. And then a little shadow over here as well. Alright. Now what we should do is get a little bit of detail in this highlight by putting a little something in there so it's not completely white something like this and over here as well and some over here as well Alright, so now we have to draw in the scales, and the scales go something like this on top. And about over here, what happens is they divide in two sets of scales. And then there's a little bit of room over here, a little bit of shadow as well. There's a scale over here. Alright. And then the bottom section just has, has a lot of these very tiny kind of scales coming from all the way over here alright going all the way over there and then just uh, then it has a few more rows of it, the same kind of scales. And then just draw those in and try to draw them in very dark so you don't have to go over them anymore later on. So I believe it looks kind of cool 
and of course it's not as good as the as my own drawing because this is the tutorial drawing and I had to um, do it in a certain amount of time because I only wanted to make one part of this because I didn't think it was uh, worth it to actually create multiple parts but it is a cool little uh, cool kind of thing right I'm gonna erase those because they don't belong there so yeah and what you could do of course is uh, if you really wanted to um, make the scales look darker and more detailed the, the whole drawing what you could do is uh, for example when you have a couple of uh, scales I'll just draw them in for example these are the scales that are underneath his eye what you could do is draw in the bottom left side of every single skill and this will make it look really realistic as you can see it looks really realistic so you could do that so yeah <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like Subscribe and comment below what you think about this particular drawing and this video. So this was Dinosaur Drawer and goodbye.